guys i uh, hope you all fine so in our previous videos we have discussed about the what are the uses of flour what are the uses of liquids what are the uses of uh, sugar uh, fats okay so in these videos we are going to discuss what are the uses of eggs okay so number 1 uh egg is basically a protein so when you heat the egg at the time of baking that time eggs coagulate and give the structure of the product number 2 eggs gives the smooth texture to the product because egg is a natural emulsifier number 3 eggs used as a leavening agent when you beat or whisk the egg that time air produced and it helps for leavening the product okay number 4 shortening agent uh egg is also a fat so that's why um it is used uh, with the butter and margarine as a shortening agent number 5 it uh, uh, eggs gives the moisture of the product because of uh, eggs contains a huge quantity of moisture or water okay a whole egg contains 70% of water um egg white contain um 86% of water and a egg here contain 49% of water so that's why it contains the moisture and and it gives the moisture to the product flavor egg has a own flavor so it gives the flavor uh to the product okay and the last use is egg has too many different types of nutritive values okay so that's why it gives the nutritive values to the product okay so that's all about this video so in our next video we are going to discuss uh, what are the leavening agents and uh, uses of salt good morning guys hope you all fine so in our previous videos we have discussed about the flour uh, the about the fats uh, liquids okay sugar so eggs in this video we are going to discuss about the uh, leavening agents okay the role of leavening agents in bakery so we should know at first we should know what are the different leavening agents which are used in bakery basically there are four types of leavening agents we are used in bakery that are yeast um baking soda baking powder and last one is air okay so we are started from the yeast so yeast yeast is basically the saccharomyces cerevisiae okay there are another type of yeast which are used in beer making it is uh, saccharomyces calvax genesis but we are now discuss about the saccharomyces cerevisiae okay when you add some water and the sugar with the yeast and sugar with uh, sugar activate the yeast that time sugar activate the yeast when you add some water and the sugar added with the yeast that time sugar uses as a activator of the yeast and it activate the yeast then yeast reacts and it makes or it produce the carbon dioxide and alcohol okay carbon dioxide helps the product for leavening and the alcohol gives an enhance the flavor of the product okay gives a desirable and enhance the uh, desirable taste and enhance the flavor of the product so uh, so uh, what are the uh, storage temperature of a yeast the storage temperature of a yeast is 5 degree centigrade okay Uh, 0 to 5 degree centigrade and when the temperature will be 15 degree to 20 degree centigrade it reacts slowly the action it acts slowly okay when it is the temperature will be 20 degree to 32 degree centigrade it's grown very fast in it acts very fast okay when the temperature will be 38 degree centigrade again it acts slowly and when the temperature will be 60 degree centigrade then it's killed okay so that is all about the yeast and now we are going to discuss about the uh, chemical agents okay uh, chemical agents which are used in bakery those are baking sodas and baking powder okay so both are chemical agents both produce carbon dioxide so what are the difference between them okay so what are the difference between them uh, baking soda baking soda is basically sodium bicarbonate and baking powder baking powder is sodium bicarbonate plus some acidifying agent plus some drying agent uh baking soda baking soda uh produces the carbon dioxide bubbles when it is dry and wet ingredients added with it that time it um, uh, produce the carbon dioxide bubble and in case of baking powder when it is wet 
it produces carbon dioxide bubble when it is wet and the dry ingredients added with the baking powder okay so then the last difference is baking soda is uh, producing baking soda uh, is helped for producing the cookies uh, muffins and the baking powder is helped for producing uh, the bear cakes pastries etc okay so that are the uh, basic difference of baking powder and baking soda and now we are going to discuss about the air so how air produce there are two reactions happen and that time air produces first one is creamy and second one is foaming so what is creamy when you mix sugar and fat together and beat it that time air bubbles happen air bubbles uh, mix and it uh, the air uh, and the air uh, helps for leavening the product okay and the foaming at the time of foaming in case of foaming when you beat or whisk a uh, egg with or without sugar that time air bubbles produce which are helps for leavening the product so there are two process by which the air produces one is um, uh, creaming and second one is foaming okay so now we are going to discuss about the last ingredient of our list which is salt okay what are the uses of salt first salt has the own taste so it gives a taste okay number 2 uh, salt uh, uses as a deactivator of a of the yeast sugar uses the activator of the yeast and salt uses as a deactivator of the yeast number 3 and the most important uses of salt which is uh, salt gives the strength of the uh, fiber of the gluten fiber okay gluten strands we know that when you add some water with the flour that time there are uh, gluten converted to the protein and it makes some strength and salt gives the strength of this strength so for this reason salt uh, gives the texture, uh, texture of the product okay so that is all about of this chapter of uh, ingredients of bread making uh, ingredients of um, bakery so we are finished this chapter so before ending this video i have a request that please go through with this it is your bng handout okay so go through with this read the chapter very carefully if you have any question on that then contact me or um, ask the questions through the bng helpline number okay so thank you for watching this video This is a sub chapter of the theory of bakery. The chapter name is bread making process. Okay, before we start, we should know what are the ingredients we are basically used in bread making. The ingredients are flour, uh, butter, and margarine. Liquids like water, milk, sometimes it will be beer. Okay, uh, then eggs, sugar, salt, and other ingredients. Other ingredients like cinnamon powder, uh, cardamom powder, sometimes lemon zest. Okay, now what are the steps? Uh, for the bread making the stages of bread making the first stage is pick up stage in this stage uh, we distribute all the ingredients for making a dough second stage is drying up stage in this stage uh, we add the uh, we add all ingredients with the flour except the uh, shortening agent and after that water added with the flour and uh, it's going to it's make a sticky dough after the further kneading the dough will be smoother okay after the drying up stage then the next stage will be clean up stage in this stage um, the dough will be smoother and the fat are added with the dough for a smoother texture and it fulfill the cracks okay after the clean up stage this fourth stage will be fermentation stage in this stage yeast acts with the sugar and uh, uh, going to uh, and um, uh, produces bubbles carbon dioxide bubbles and alcohol okay after the fermentation stage the next stage will be knockback stage in this stage the dough becomes double size double in size okay for the fermentation and at that time we punch the dough by our pumps okay by which the carbon dioxide are distributed all over the dough. after the knockback stage the next stage will be scaling and rounding in this stage we cut the dough with the dough cutter and make them round in shape okay after the after this stage the next stage will be benching 
in this stage we uh, allow the dough for the rest for 10 to 15 minutes for the uh, further fermentation and the dough become the smoother and softer and it's easy to molding okay the next stage will be molding in this stage we make the shapes of the dough uh, make the as desirable shapes uh, make them a desirable shapes in our desirable shapes and it will be uh, and uh, it's put it in the greased uh, baking pan for the baking and the uh, and after that the next stage will be proofing in this stage we put the baking pan in front of the mic in front of the oven or in the top of the oven for the last fermentation okay and the last stage is baking we all know uh, in this stage we put this baking pan in the preheated it's preheated oven in the preheated oven okay we put the baking pan in the preheated oven